Hello, my name is John Cruz, and welcome to my very first video of my YouTube of my new YouTube channel. You know what this is? That's right, this is a coca brownie recipe. So you know what we're gonna do on my first very first video? That's right, I'm gonna show you how to make cocoa brownies. These are all the greens used to make brownies. And you use the vegetable oil spray to spray into the baking pan, but we'll do this later. Now the first thing you want to do is to preheat the oven to 325 degrees. Second of all, spray the, as I said earlier, spray the, you spray the, the baking pan with the vegetable oil sprayer, like this. Now for the third step, use the microwave to m melt the butter for two minutes on 30%. As you can see, this is one cup of butter. Each cup, um, each stick represents a half cup. You can still see a stick of butter in it. It's probably because soft enough. Okay. Now next, you need two cups of sugar. Do you think it's okay to uh, mix the sugar? Definitely. Then you have to shake the cup to make sure it's level properly before you pull. See it's level, but now you can pour the sugar into the bowl. Now listen to this. That sound effect tells you that the oven is completely reheated. Now using the mixer, blend very well. And I like to start with one because it starts out pretty smooth. If you need to, go up another notch. You might need to use a spatula to scrape off the edges. Now the next step is to crack four eggs, like this. And make sure you um, don't have any shells in it or they'll taste crunchy.
Now use a teaspoon to pour the vanilla in and add it to the bowl. You'll need two teaspoons of vanilla. This is the second one. And it doesn't matter if, it, if you get too much or not, the recipe will taste the same. Now mix all, now mix the eggs and vanilla, starting, again starting with one. Now use this cup to pour the Hershey's cocoa and you'll need one and a half cups so make sure you fill up to this line where my finger is. Again you shake this to, to level Do you need more? and it looks like it's all empty. All right, now that we've got some more, let's finish dumping in this in. Looks like I poured too much. Let's go ahead and pour this, uh, just pour it back just a little. This thing's tricky. I think I got it. You're gonna see how wonderful I did at leveling. Maybe just a little. There we go. If it and it doesn't matter if you make a mess or not, you just have to clean it up when you're done cooking. See, that's that's exactly a, as where, where it should be. Now you can dump the cocoa into the bowl. Now you need one cup of flour. What I, what I would do is use this scraper to put in the cup before you put the flour in the bowl. To scoop. To scoop. Yeah. Looks like that's a little too much, so. All right, I hope this is the right amount. Go ahead and shake the cup. I think that's as good enough as you can get, but so, oh, uh, don't pause it yet, don't. Now when you're cooking, you might need an apron because flour can, can sometimes get messy. So let's go ahead and pour this in. Now the final ingredient you need is salt, and that gives you one teaspoon. So let's go ahead and pour it over the, it's best to do it over the sink. That way, it, um, that way salt dissolves in the water. And then we'll pour this into the bowl. And you're ready to mix one more time.
Now when it's completely mixed, pour it into this baking pan. This may take a bit of hand. Here's a better view from a different angle. You want to make sure you have all the mix, um, all the brown spots down on the baking pan. Oh, she makes. Oh. Then you spread the then you spread all the mix in. And you want to make sure it's flat enough to bake. Because if it um, because if they're too much lump, then it'll be difficult to bake. It'll bake unevenly. Unevenly. Now the last thing you have to do, you have to open the oven and put the mix in the oven. And you and you start out with 25 minutes. See if that tells you how much minutes that is. You can't really see it when you put it on under the light. Now when the timer beeps, you take the brownies out of the oven. Wait till all the heat comes out before you pull the rack out. Then you use a toothpick to, to make sure it's dry. And, you, and there's some stuff on it, so you give it another five, five or ten minutes. How do you want this to be? Five minutes or... Uh, so, so you simply add a, another five minutes. Now after the five minutes is up, simply grab a new toothpick and check to make sure if it's done or not. I hope it's good this time. Again, pull the rep. And use a second toothpick to test it out. And guess what? It's dry, so all the brownies are good. Now you turn the oven off. And carefully grab the grab the handles without burning your hands. Normally I wouldn't recommend doing this since this is a since this is treacherous. You always have to wear oven mitts when you use the oven. All right, now all you have to do is simply let it um, simply let it um, let it stay and, and cool. So that's going to be a wrap for this very first video on my U new YouTube channel. I I really hope you enjoyed learning how to make brownies, and and some of the steps are pretty hard, but make sure you do make sure you have an adult when you when you cook. So especially and 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 use and use the oven as well. So. And after you um, finish cooking with the brownies, so and if and after you um, cook the brownies, make sure you um, taste it because it's 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 an awesome, delicious treat for you. So anyway, that is going to be it. Hope really hope you enjoyed it and bon appetit.